What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my most recent sales, whether they've been on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. I've been getting a lot of sales recently and we're going to be talking about a little bit of everything. Let's get right into this. So honestly, I've been getting a lot more sales recently, some of which has been coming from eBay, but most of it has been coming from Facebook Marketplace. And right now I kind of know where I want to stand as far as getting inventory, what kind of niche I want to follow. And that is video games and comic books. Those are the two most profitable niches that I do sell that make it more profitable. Not only do I get to make a lot more money, but they do sell fairly quick with those two niches. And that's probably what I'm gonna be focusing on in the future whenever I'm looking for inventory is gonna be video games and comic books. So with that being said, some of these sales are from eBay, but most of them are from Facebook Marketplace. Let's just get right into it. Up first is four plug and plays that I sold. There was a Spider-Man one, a Scooby-Doo one, and two SpongeBob ones. I bought them for, I bought a lot of them for $40. I still have three left to sell. And I sold these four for $50. So I'm already at $10 profit and I have three of them left. The three that are left, there's a Disney one. I do have it listed on eBay. There is a Dora the Explorer, which I also have listed on eBay. Then there's Bob the Builder one, which I don't have it listed on eBay because it's not worth much. It's one of the lesser valuable ones. So if somebody locally, I do have them listed locally as well. If somebody wants them, I'm just gonna throw the Bob the Builder one in with it. And I think I'm trying to sell them for $10 for the rest of them. So hopefully I do get that. That would be $20 total for the whole lots. But so far I've made $10 profit and I did sell them locally on Facebook Marketplace. Next up is eight DS games that did not include the cases. This was included in a lot of video games that I did purchase. Now normally whenever I see DS games, if they don't include the cases, I try to avoid them. Since these were included in a lot that I was purchasing that included some PS1 games, PS2 games, some PS3 games, I decided to take it. Why not? I didn't know if I was gonna be able to sell them. I listed them for $25 and somebody locally did purchase them. So at the end of the day, $25 for eight DS games, it was worth just including them in the lot and taking them because I did end up selling them. Next up was a PS3 that was not working. This was sold as is for parts locally on Facebook Marketplace or possibly Kijiji. I tried to get it to work. I didn't really know what the issue was. I think I narrowed it down to be the motherboard because I replaced the power supply. I tried a couple other things. Nothing worked. It kept going into the red lights, basically the red light of death for the PS3. I couldn't get it to fix, so I listed it, hoping whoever purchases it does try to get it fixed. Maybe they know what they're doing. Maybe they know a couple other things to try. I ended up getting an offer for $20 and I took it. So if they can get it working, they only paid $20 for this PS3. If not, it was only a $20 loss for them. But regardless, I did sell it for $20. Next up is an Xbox 360 bundle that I did sell. Now, for me, Xboxes usually sit a lot longer than PS3s. PS3s I can list and probably sell within a couple days. Xboxes take a lot longer to sell. So this one has been sitting for a while. I think it included five games, one controller, all the power cords, and I think it was 120 gigabytes. I can't quite remember. Uh, but I sold it for $130. Now, I only paid $70 for the lot. So right there is $60 profits but I also already sold some of the other games separately. I sold a game for $25, that makes it $85 profit. And I sold two other games for $10 each. That equals out to be $105 profit for the entire Xbox 360 bundle that I did purchase a while back. So even though this sat for a long time, I did make $105 total profit on the entire lot. To me, that was definitely worth keeping and sitting for a little bit. Next up, is something really cool that if it wasn't for it being Xbox 360, I would have kept it for my personal collection. I only collect anything that's PlayStation 3 and PlayStation stuff, nothing Xbox for me in my collection. And that is Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 Prestige Editions. The uh, Black Ops 1 Prestige Edition was sealed, brand new, never opened up. It still had the official Xbox seal on it. The box looked amazing. It wasn't beat up or anything. And what that Prestige Edition was, it included the steelbook, uh, some medallions, some pins, 
and it included the game and the RC car that is in the game. And this RC car had the camera on it, so it was really high tech, really something that anybody that's a fan of Call of Duty, if they've seen this, they probably would love just to go and drive this RC car around and see the camera on the uh, controls. That would be amazing. So something that I was really debating on keeping the PlayStation, uh, sorry, the Black Ops 2 Prestige Edition was a literal care package case, a black uh, case. Inside it had the steel book, it had all the pins, it had the game that was never opened, and it had the drone from Black Ops 2. So a lot of really cool stuff for this. I paid $40 each, that is $80 total, and I sold it for $200. That is a profit of $120, and it only took me a couple days to sell it. Now, the buyers did look at it, and they thought that one of them was worth $500 on eBay, which was not honestly factual. I looked up sold comps before even listing it. Sold comps for each of them was roughly around $100. So there might have been somebody that was trying to list it for $500, but that doesn't mean it was selling for $500. So they thought for buying them at $100 each, they were getting an amazing deal because they thought one of them sold for $500. That wasn't true. I was actually selling them for what they sold for. But regardless, they thought they were getting a great deal. I made some great profits. That was awesome in my books. Next up is an Xbox One game that I had sitting for a while now. It was Pac-Man Championship, and I think it had some of the arcade games or something else with it. This sold for $12, so not a lot of profit. It was only $12, but I've sold everything else from the lot, so this $12 was all profits. Next up was a Super Nintendo Entertainment System, an SNES. It was damaged. It had a lot of cracks in it. It was heavily yellowed. I honestly didn't think it was going to sell. It was included in the lot that I purchased with the DS games that I talked about earlier. So I listed it for $15. Somebody took it, they looked at it, and they're like, yeah, I'll give you the $15 for it. I don't know if they planned on cleaning it. I don't know if it worked because it didn't include a controller. It didn't include... Uh, any of the cords, so I was untested. I was selling it as is, and somebody paid $15 for it. So regardless, it's gone. It was something that I thought I would have to throw out, and somebody paid $15 for it. Next up is for the PlayStation 3, Spider-Man Friend or Foe, which is why I love collecting and uh, now that I'm selling video games, finding the ones that are worth a little bit and selling them on eBay. This one sold on eBay for $25 profits after shipping and fees, so that was amazing to see gone. Now that I know that Spider-Man games are pretty hot, I did pick up, it was included in a lot, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions for uh, the Xbox 360. I have that listed right now as well. But Spider-Man games definitely do good on eBay, so when I find them, I'm definitely gonna be listing them on eBay rather than locally. And this one sold for $25. Next up, there was four PS2 games. They were all sports games, so I didn't think I was going to be able to sell them for much. Somebody offered me $10. Absolutely took it. If it's sports games, I know they're not going to sell for much. Somebody offers you $10. That's $250 each. Yeah, I'm going to take it because I doubt I would ever be able to sell them at that price point let alone anything close to that. So I definitely took it, $10 right there. I had an Xbox, an original Xbox that I purchased from a thrift store a while back. I purchased it for $15, no wires, no controllers, untested. So I ended up selling it once again as is. I explained to the buyer that I'm not sure if it works. I'm not sure uh, anything about it, it is untested. They purchased it for $25. That is $10 profit right there, which is amazing to see. Something that I knew nothing about. I purchased it while I was in the thrift store. I kind of regretted it, but ultimately I was able to sell it for $25. So at the end of the day, to me, it was definitely worth selling. And the last item is two PlayStation 3 games. They're both Fallout games. It was Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. I sold them for $5 each, $10. Now the funny story with this one, after I sold them, two hours later, the buyer messages me saying, hey, one of the discs is missing for PlayStation New Vegas, or sorry, Fallout New Vegas, which I knew was a lie because how I do it, whenever I buy a lot of games, I always buy them with a console that I have. If I don't have the console, I'm not gonna buy a lot of games because I can't test them. I always test all of my games to make sure they work prior to me selling them. 
So not only do I know he was lying because I test every game, so I know there was a game for this case, but also he complains two hours after I sold it, and whenever I offered him to e-transfer him the $5 for that game, which at the end of the day I knew he was kind of lying because I test every game, I put every game back in the case before I even list it, I knew he was lying, but I still was like, okay, if you want, I'll e-transfer you the $5, you know, trying to make things right. And he's like, no, that's okay. It's a learning experience. Never mind. If there was an issue and if there was a game that was missing and somebody's offering you to give you $5 back that you paid for it, that give you your money back, normal person would take it. This person's like, you know what? Never mind. At the end of the day, I made $10. I made a sale. I ended up blocking him because it was just way sketchy. Even from the get-go, whenever I met him, he seemed a little off. And then to message that many hours later, when I'm pretty sure I asked him to check it out there and he opened up the case, he should have seen that the game was not there if it wasn't there and said something then, not wait. The whole thing, whole situation just seemed odd. So at least it sold, but these are all of my most recent Facebook and eBay sales. Most of it, like I said, was from Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji. Selling locally has been doing a lot better, especially with my comic books but eBay is still there as an option. Any of the comic books that don't sell in the next couple weeks and that, I'm gonna try listing on eBay and see if I can make a couple sales that way. Even though I do have to pay taxes and pay fees and pay shipping, it might end up being more profitable selling them on eBay so I can get them gone and then I can sell other things locally as well. That's just an idea. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it, but that is an option I am considering. So hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys enjoy whenever I go and talk about some recent sales because not only does it motivate me to pick up more things to sell and make more videos, but it also hopefully helps you guys understand not only things that do sell and roughly how much they're selling for, but also that anybody can do this. Anybody can buy things to flip. You don't have to have an eBay account. You don't have to have Kijiji. You can sell locally on Facebook Marketplace. Everything else is optional, eBay is optional, Kijiji is optional, but anybody can go and do it, buy things, flip things, make profit, and that definitely makes some money. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.